hello geology family today we are going to talk about paleontology so what is paleontology paleontology is a branch of geology which deals with the fossilized remains of plants and animals of geological past i know the next thing that comes to your mind is where do we find this fossilized remains of plants and animals so we find this fossilized remains in the sedimentary rocks of our earth's crust now you must be wondering why do we have to study paleontology actually the science of fossils is the essential tool of the stratigraphers for the purposes of correlation strata identifications establishment of succession and determination of paleo environments also from biological point of view paleontology gives important evidence for evolution and adoption of organisms to different environments paleontology is subdivided into three branches the first one is paleobotany the science of plant fossils the second one is paleozoology the science of fossil animals and the third one is micropaleontology the science of microfossils paleozoology is again subdivided into invertebrate paleontology the study of invertebrate fossils and vertebrate paleontology the study of vertebrate fossils now what is fossil the word fossil is derived from the latin verb for dare which means to dig that is anything one might remove from the earth or if i simply want to define fossils so fossils are simply the preserved remains of ancient plants and animals which once lived and were buried beneath the water within the sedimentary rocks eventually becoming encased in the rocks a fossil may consist of complete organism which will include hard parts or impressions or may be traces of past life such as footprints borings or burrows of the animals now let me give you a few examples of fossils the first one is telophyllum acutifolium which is a plant fossil the second one is trigonia ventricosa which is an invertebrate fossil and the third one is elephas nomadicus which is a vertebrate fossil now you must be wondering how do we name an organism which used to live in the past actually it is very simple the name is divided into two parts and the first part shows its genus and the second part represents its species as an example i already told you a plant fossil named telophyllum acutifolium so the telophyllum is the genus name and the acutifolium is the species name that's all for today guys if you like this video give a thumbs up share with your friends and if you are new to my channel do hit the subscribe button thank you